Hi there, I'm Hope from Health to Beauty Nails and today we're gonna to talk all about my pedicure setup. Make sure you like and subscribe, turn on the little notification bell and let's jump right into it. a lot of questions about my pedicure setup, my chair, the client chair, my cart. So we're going to deep dive into that today. As you can see, this is the main pedicure area. This is the client chair. This is the little stool that I sit in as well as my fancy pedicure cart here. And we also have polish above. Before we get too far, I thought it would be helpful to show you the room so you can be more oriented in terms of how it's laid out. This is the main pedicure area. This is the client chair, my cart with everything, and then I have polishes here. And I sit in this chair for pedicures. Let's just start with the client chair. I got this chair locally from a tattoo shop that was selling it. I will link below a link to the chair that you can find online. It is fully electric and completely adjustable. It has a little handy remote that just hangs right here on the side of the chair. So when I have a client come in, they sit right here. I have this table to the left of the chair where clients can put their stuff. This is also my manicure table. So when I do manicures, I just roll it in front of the client chair. But I have a client, they come in, they sit down, they pop anything right there, and then I just start lifting them up in the chair. Depending how tall the client is will change how high I take them depending on how low their legs hang. But I usually bring them up pretty high. I'll also kind of recline them a little bit. That also gives me a better angle and then What's really great is every single piece of this is totally adjustable and customizable. So I can move this up if I need the legs to be a little higher. I can move this higher or lower. The back also moves back. I never need it to, but this does go completely horizontal as well. So if you do multiple modalities in your practice where you're doing pedicures, but maybe you're also doing facials because you're an esthetician, this something like this would be great because it will serve multiple purposes. Typically when I'm doing my toenail work, I start with the client in some sort of position like this so that I can have the feet pretty well in front of me and I can stay pretty upright in my posture as well. I have my e-file right to the left on my cart, so my hose I'll just have kind of in my lap and I just kind of work on the toes as such. Then when I go in for my callus work, I will lift the legs up so they're more in front of me here. Again, if I need them to get higher, I will lift them up. I can also tilt them back again if I need them to be a little bit higher for me to see. I'm also always checking with my client to make sure this is a comfortable position for them and their back. If they're a little less flexible, I might not bring the legs all the way up to a full hamstring stretch, or I can bring them all the way up and recline the back a little bit further back so that they are always comfortable and not getting too much of a stretch if they don't have that mobility. Totally okay, which is part of why this chair is so great because it's totally customizable for each client. So then, I can be totally upright while I'm doing callus work and I see the foot directly in front of my face so I can do my exfoliation this way as well. This is really helpful so I'm looking down but then I can also look up as well and kind of lean back in my stool so that I'm always kind of working on my posture and not crunched over eight hours a day on clients. And then as I'm working on a client, I have the feet as high up as necessary so I can work on the heel and I will work on one heel then the other heel and then I'll kind of lower it down so I can work kind of on the midfoot on both sides and then I'll bring it down so that if I need to do any callus work on the sides of the toes, top tips of the toes, I'll do it that way. I go in each level of the foot on both sides before I shift the chair and that saves me time so I'm not just moving the chair over and over and over again. I'm trying to be efficient with my time. Then once I'm done with callus work, I'll bring them back down before I'm polishing or you know finishing up any toenail work, anything like that. And that's the client chair. It's so nice, saves my body. The clients are always talking about how cool it is also. They love being up high. They find it so comfortable. I have a client who has a slipped disc and so this has been really great because I can totally customize the chair to make them comfortable. My pedicure stool, I think I got from Minerva Beauty. Again, I will link everything that I can below the description box. This was the lowest pedicure stool I could find. I think it goes from like 10 to 12 inches. So I can go as high as this and as low as this. I really like to be as low as possible in pedicures so that I don't have to bend over, crunch over as much as possible and I can be really upright. So this in combination with this chair really does a lot for my posture. 
Let's talk about the pedicure cart. I got this one from Universal Companies. It is very beautiful now, but I will tell you it was a complete nightmare to assemble. These bars in the back had to be put into these pre-made holes and uh, many of these holes were too small for the bars to go in. So I had my partner helping me. He had to like shave the holes so that we could assemble them. Total nightmare. So I don't know that I would recommend it based on that fact. I was pretty upset for the amount of money that I paid for this thing, that it was not easier to put together. That being said, it's super functional and I do love the way it works now. I guess we can talk about the back since we're here. It came with this extra power strip, which is really handy. I have my e-file, my light. You can plug things in back here, which is really nice, extra power. But let's just go from top to bottom. I have my slimline lamp here from the Daylight Company. I won this from an Instagram giveaway. I did a whole video about that, but I won it from Nails by Katie Dutra and Erica's ATA. They were having a giveaway together, and I won, which was amazing. This has totally changed the game for me with my light. As you saw, when you enter my room, the light above is not very bright and it's pretty warm. So this is incredible and I can bend it all around, all crazy. This also goes 180 degrees. And as I'm doing pedicures, as you see, I'm maneuvering my client around a lot. So I'm maneuvering this around a lot as well. This new contraption is a phone mount that I got from Archon Mounts that I've been using for filming some services and so I can do more clips and content. I haven't used it a ton yet, but so far it's working pretty well. It kind of comes out like this, and then you can extend it. This is where you put your phone and you can kind of adjust it as necessary. It's been working out pretty well. I like it way better than my other Archon mount that I have. It feels way sturdier. And I do have an affiliate link, so I will link this below. And if you want to use the affiliate link, I believe it'll get you 20% off. Then up here, I have all my essential things that I'm using for every pedicure. In this guy, I have a bunch of different solutions, some different callus softeners, dazzle dry prep stuff, and this really cool organizer. This one I believe is from Target. Creams that I use on people in service, my disinfecting spray that I cleanse feet and hands with prior to every service. Then I have my e-file here. This is from a brand called Hotaway. I'm probably butchering that because they are a German company. And this does have the vacuum built right into it. So as I'm working, it's sucking up a bunch of the dust as it's being created as I'm exfoliating people's dead skin. And I'll turn it on here so you can kind of hear. This is the vacuum on the highest setting and for how powerful it is, it is not loud at all. I can still have a conversation with my client and it's totally fine. I'm not like having to yell <laughs> so that they can hear me. You can also customize the section level. So I always have it on the highest, but you, this is four, three, two, and then this is the lowest setting. And then you can also have it off, which I don't know why you would ever want it off. <laughs> you can change the speed. This one I believe goes up to 40,000 RPMs. I never used it that high, but I could. And you can also obviously reverse the direction and then it has down here, memory settings that you can customize what setting you want it on. It also has a clock and the date on the screen, which is also really helpful when I'm in service. As I'm working on a client and then if I turn towards my cart, I can take a little glance at the clock to help me stay on my timing. Then on the second shelf also, I have my caps that I use for callus exfoliation, my Hodo disc buffer bits because they don't really fit in my bit holder since it's kind of an awkward shape, so I just have them in here along with the actual buffer stickers. Back here, I have different oils, as well as my scrub that I use in my spot pedicures. On the bottom here, I have tow rope that I cut because I don't like to use a full tow rope for every client. So I just cut it up and put it on these. Also, all of these clear organizers, I also put 3M Velcro strips because I can't tell you the number of times that I have spilled an entire thing of this after I filled it all over the floor and wasted all that tow rope. So that has been really helpful to secure these to the cart. I have some wipes and cleanup brushes down here as well as some gel products when I do gel toes. IBX and some non-dazzle dry top and face coat. I also in the back have a couple of these with some buffers and then some of my cotton swabs that I use for Onifix application. And another random <laughs> foot cream. In the drawer, I have a little tweezer which is really helpful when I'm in service so that I can grab a little, grab a cap, 
keep everything sanitary so I'm not grabbing things with my gloves. I keep my gloves in here. I have some shine buffs, spatulas for my scrub, and some different cotton in here. Just things that need to be covered constantly. These creams, I keep in a little tray that I also got at Target. These containers, oh, I also have these labeled, <laughs> so I know which is which. At this point, because I'm using them all the time, I know which is which, but it's nice to have everything labeled. Obviously, the plastic, if you get any sort of acetone or anything on it, it does start to eat it. I think I got these at Dollar General. All of these acrylic square containers are from Target. And I want to say this is from Target as well, but actually now that I'm thinking about it, it might be from Ross. I like the clear organizers because you can see what you need and it's just very clean looking. And with everything being clear, it's just very uniform. So that is the cart. This is the main kind of pedicure setup. Obviously I have my dazzle dry up here as well. So clients can see it really easily when they are up and marinating on a color during their appointment. I also have a light above that I will turn on during service so that the clients can see the colors a little bit as better as well. Hopefully you can see it in this frame. This room is also very small, so I'm gonna show you this to you in sections, but this is obviously the main pedicure area. This is the entryway to the room. And then right next to the entryway, we come to this storage unit and my retail shelves. When a client is sitting here, the whole time they are able to look at my retail shelves, which is really great. And as I just showed you, I'm typically sitting here and it's really nice to have this right here in the event that I need an extra bit or maybe a towel falls and I can just grab the towel. So this is not <laughs> very organized but I have all my towels here and then down here is like some miscellaneous stuff that's not very organized, but some extra cotton, brushes, some oils in there, just some different things. I don't have a good system under here. There's some cubbies that I have some different things in, but again, I'm not really utilizing this space really great. If you have any ideas, let me know. I've tried a few different things. I just, it's hard for me to keep this area organized for whatever reason. Anyways, I have towels right here. After service, when I have dirty tools, I can turn around and just pop them in this little container that is labeled as dirty so I can clean it in between appointments or if I'm really busy, I usually just do them all at the end of the day. In this drawer, I keep all of my disinfected tools and trays and they're just ready to go so I can grab them for a client. Boom, put them on the cart. I have my bits back here, same thing. They're in these little packs. And these are the bits that I use on every single client for the most part, nine times out of 10. So it's really easy for me between each client to grab each of these, pop them in the cart, good to go. Back here, I have some extra bits. So if there is something that I need during a service, I'll take my tweezer that is in my drawer and grab it from here before moving on. And here I have some toenail repair stuff, some random extra bits and my Onifix stuff. Again, not a perfect system, but this is what we got going on right now. And then this is just extra tools, extra kinds of files, ingrown nail nippers. I know it's not a perfect system. <laughs> but that's how, it, how we're doing it right now. I also just back here have an extra one of those little pencil boxes so that these stay out and don't get kind of like caught back there because that's very annoying when I'm trying to open it. So I have my cart here, I have my storage unit here if I need to grab stuff. And then to my right, this is a new addition that I am so excited about. I have my gel polish mounted to the wall at the level at which I do my pedicures. So it's so nice. A client is looking at their swatches, they need something, I just roll right over here, grab it, boom, we're ready to go again. I love having this here so much. I cannot take credit for putting this at this level. This was the owner of the salon's idea and it's made a world of difference. I used to have this in a hot mess, kind of jumbled on the top of my laundry number, but Obviously this room is small, so I'm trying to make as much use of this vertical space as possible. Lastly, I wanted to show you my setup for when I do gel toes to make it again, a little easier on my posture and also a little faster for me. So I'm not holding the lamp. So I have my client up and then I bring my manicure stool. This is what I set in when I'm doing manicures because obviously this one is a little too low for manicures and I pop a towel over it. And I bring my client's legs up so that their feet can be pretty flat 
on this surface. And then I just bring the lamp in front of me. I always leave the cord to this lamp plugged into the, that power strip on the back of my cart. That way I can just bring it around, plug it in really super easy. And so when my client's feet, I we wanna make sure that they're flat because a lot of times people's toes kind of curl up. That will make the gel cure improperly and cause issues. I have learned that the hard way. So you wanna make sure that their toes are flat. And if they're not, just ask them to kind of flatten them during the curing process. I make sure that they're like relatively comfortable during this part. So then from here, I'll just have the lamp on one side while I'm working on one foot, boom, I roll to the other foot, work on the other foot. And then I just switch back and forth as necessary. This has worked so well for me. And then also I can be more upright and I don't have to hold the lamp over a single foot, wasting time during my service. This has been a game changer for me. I will totally link this stool below. A friend of mine on Instagram also got this and she said it's been working really good for her and her for her job how care setup as well. I will let you know my stool came in and it's kind of crooked. So I will link this one below. Hopefully yours will be crooked if you get it but just something to know. I also got a question about how to find a good flow with what you have. And my answer to that is to be as organized as possible, which is why I have so many different little organizational type holders on there and making sure that you have a place, a home for everything. So you have things zoned in this way where it's like, great, I must set us up here. This is e-file plus calus exfoliation stuff. Below we have like polish situation and gel stuff. I have clear systems in play so that I don't miss anything. I know where everything is. Have everything in a way, ideally, that it's kind of in an arm's reach for you. Obviously my room is really small. I hope you have more space than I do, but I have had to create really specific organizational strategies and kind of have everything zoned in a way so that if I have something here and I'm like, oh no, I need something else, I can literally just turn in my chair and grab it if I need it. That way I don't have to stand up, walk all the way over somewhere else, again, wasting time, not being clear about where things are. That's why I have my gel polish on the wall now. Everything is kind of zoned in a way where I can swivel around, I can roll across the room, grab something as I need it. So really clear organizational strategies. Think of the ways you are maneuvering in your service and see how you can zone your tools and supplies to be super functional for you. Really clear organizational tools so everything's kind of corralled together. It's a really great way to go. Also, I would just encourage you to literally write out your process of a pedicure. Obviously, you know, everyone's probably gonna be a little different. I don't treat every foot the exact same way, but I know I'm, I'm gonna use pretty much the same five to six bits on every client. I'm gonna use the same at least four implements again on every client. So I have all those things at the ready so I can grab them. And if you write down your procedure, you will see, okay, step one, I lift the client up. I put my gloves on, I spray their feet. So what do you need to have those things directly around you so that you are quick and efficient? I have my gloves in this drawer. I have my cleanser right at the top shelf so I can do all of those things and be really quick about it. So I just encourage you write out your steps and then that will help you figure out an organizational and functional strategy so that you can really get into a flow. And if you are codifying your process in that way, it will just allow you to be in a flow so much more than you know, kind of being all over the place and not really knowing where you're at in each service. So that's the whole setup. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions on anything. Let me know if you have any cool must-haves or unique things in your pedicure setup. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.